I was really looking forward to Elevator Girl because I love Lacey Chabert and there are definitely some good things about the film, but there's also some room for improvement. This was released in 2010. It's directed by Bradford May and written by Jennifer Nota Shapiro and stars, of course, Lacey Chabert as Liberty and Ryan Merriman as Jonathan. And Liberty and Jonathan get stuck in an elevator at the beginning of the film and it doesn't last very long. They're not stuck in there for too much time, but they bond and there's a spark between them. And Liberty kind of promises she'll give Jonathan a cooking lesson. But then Jonathan, who is at this dinner, he's been promoted at work, he's doing really well, and it turns out Liberty is the waitress. And in his eyes, she's just a waitress. And she is a lot more than that. She's actually it planning on finishing culinary school she's planning on finishing a lot of other things and his friend doesn't think he should be with her when they do start to date and her friend's not exactly very enthusiastic either I don't really know why her friend had a problem she was very unsupportive and I didn't like her but at the same time I didn't love Liberty either I didn't hate her as such but I'm not a big fan of her personality and of course that comes across in the character so I didn't love her but I didn't dislike her. I you know, I have to confirm that. Again with Jonathan, I didn't dislike him but he did have a very snobbish attitude so I didn't love him either. So neither of our protagonists are particularly lovable and the narrative is very, very slow. There are so many montages in this. I lost count. I think there were at least five montages where we just had music over the top of these different clips and yes occasionally it would help the narrative move forward a bit but you can overdo a montage and they can last for too long and unfortunately they just went on and on. So the specifics of the narrative weren't very interesting either. There was one character that I loved, Rosemary, played by Paddy McCormick. Whenever she was on screen I was happy. She was the only genuinely likeable, 100% likeable character. I loved her. So I didn't care for Liberty or Jonathan that much. And obviously I hoped that they would work out together because I think it's important to show that people from different walks of life and people with different mindsets can actually work together. But whether or not that happens, I'm not going to say, of course, but I did. I hoped so while I didn't necessarily care for the protagonists individually, I hoped they worked as a couple. The narrative is very slow, not a lot happens, and honestly, there are far too many montages, and the music over the montages, it's absolutely fine. But I wanted, well, I was going to say I wanted dialogue. There's some pretty bad grammar in some of the dialogue, but you can always get away with bad grammar in dialogue because you can blame the characters rather than the writer of the dialogue but nevertheless not all of the dialogue was brilliant either so really I don't seem like I have a lot of positive things to say about this film and to be honest that's true it's a very mediocre film at best if it wasn't Lacey Chabert and also for the character of Rosemary I probably wouldn't have liked it as much as I did I'd say I liked it about average. So if you like rom-coms in general, if that's your kind of film, then absolutely give it a go. I think there will be things in it that you might like. Maybe you'll like the protagonists more than I did. Hopefully you'll love Rosemary. But if you're looking for a good story, good dialogue and likeable protagonists, then it might not be the right film for you. The performances are absolutely fine. I just feel like neither of them... neither. One was a particularly well-written character. I didn't care for either of them enough to become emotionally invested in their individual stories. But as I said, as a couple, because of what it would represent about differences coming together, that part of it I was interested in. And I think that's the part, other than Lacey Chabert, that kept me hooked, that kept me engaged enough to find out what was happening. So if you like rom-coms, if you like any of the cast in this, if there is a specific reason why Elevator Girl sounds appealing, I'd say give it a go. It's not terrible. It is watchable, but there's absolutely room for improvement. But if it's not really your kind of film in general, then I'd say it's probably not worth it. You wouldn't really be missing out on much. I'm glad I don't give star ratings because I wouldn't know what to do with this. It is, as I said, pretty average. 
below average for a rom-com of this nature, but in terms of films in general, it's a pretty average viewing. So not one I'll be watching again, but there was enough in it to keep me watching until the end.